Run to the game. Let's go, baby. Okay, so we know epoxing is actually a pretty good mid. Like, despite the fact that his team is bo booty, he's a pretty good mid. Team Harbin, their second pick this time around. For bands, as you can see above me, we have Fafnir Terra. And then, it seems like uh, the red team, which is Team Harbin, they just can't, they don't want to deal with Fafnir or Terra. And then, for whatever reason, Loki Baka with them. That's probably directed at their soul lane. He probably plays a really annoying Loki Baka. And it looks like we're having technical difficulties. Shout out to high risk production. Even in China. Oh, will expand. Oh, they banned the Kronos. We're not dealing with no blink. Kronos. I like the Thor band. The Thor band, I think, is key. I want to see Team Harbin pick up Bacchus, like, first pick or some shit. Like, real rap. I want to see a Bacchus. Their, their Bacchus was clean. Like, granted, missed a couple flops. I don't know why. I guess Soul was banned last time, so they first picked Soul. So I guess Soul's, uh. I mean, Soul Dueling is kind of annoying. It depends on what patch they're playing on. I don't get the, the Fenrir, but let's do it. I dig the raw. Raw Fenrir combo, great way to start off the pick and ban phase. It's clean, sustain, up the yin yang, and guaranteed ult setup with raw. If you can ever get a jungler that can synergize with raw like that, you're gonna make some clean 2v2s. It depends. With this lineup out of Team Harbor, that means they're trying to win the 3v3 in mid. Obvious. Or, or I mean, like maybe Fenrir camp soul lane. I don't fucking know. All right, so they just go with Hu Yi. It's still, it's still clean though. I don't get what the obsession is with Hu Yi, but it must be like Hu Yi must be overpowered in China or some shit. Bologna was banned last game, so I guess they're picking up all the bands. And Fatatastica, a digger. So initiation-wise, Bologna can ult, right? So Bologna can always ult to initiate, and Fatatastica, he, he essentially has a global ult. And it's a glo it's a big knock-up, like it's the size of the fucking lane. So when he lands on a team fight, he knocks everyone up, which means he can stun, do his combo, and then dash away before he gets blown up. Depending on like how he does it, so Fatatasker is definitely a super strong pick, and then uh, red team just goes with Sobek, which it, yeah, I think we're, we're probably gonna see a Bacchus pick most likely. If they're gonna pick Sobek, I want to see the rest of Team Harbor's team comp before I decide on who. Like right now, I'm leaning towards the other fucking team, Team Waterfall, but. Kwong, yeah, okay. <coughs> I think that's like Fenris solo Kwong jungle. I dig it, dude. These guys are trolls, fuck, dude. I dig Scylla, though. They have set up for Scylla ult. They can Fenrir jump into Scylla, or they can Sobek pull into Scylla ult. So, they have two good setups for Scylla. Not bad. <laughs> Are they missing any gods? I don't know, Hannah. I dig the get pick. I know people hate on it. I dig the get pick. Because Soul already has so much push. So Soul essentially is carrying Geb at a laning phase. Because uh, Team Harbin's landing phase, Hui Sobek is super scary. So, if Team Waterfall gets the lane first, they should be able to essentially keep momentum in the landing phase and keep Hui and Sobek out push the whole lane. Should be clean. And then Cupid. Wait. What? Alright, so I guess they're doing Cupid duo lane soul mid. But soul mid's not good. They must just. I don't know, dude. China's fucked up. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> Unless that's Cupid mid. If that's Cupid mid, I'm just cracking my shit. It's Cupid mid, dude! Oh my. That's not even good, dude! 
就给你切了一下刚才的，然后把秒换了。That's garbage。亨顿也是一个比较老的一个职业选手啊。What's with teams valuing keeper so much? I guess they value the CC and sustain. I know I love my keeper. 盖布毕竟是一个保护能力很数一数二的一个辅助嘛，所以说不管怎么样，它都是有存在的一个必要性的。看看蓝猫这边，哇，这个汗有点多啊！不要关心，关注这些细节。Dude, this is so hype. 有一个想要说的一个问题啊，就是蓝猫是不是上一次比赛也是在嚼口香糖？对，我只是想让他们。我记得我上次解说比赛好像是看他不停的在嚼一些东西啊。但是这次我们的摄像小哥非常善良的多给我们刮刮几个镜头。好吧，我们来看一下两边的这个。Is this like a doom soundtrack? I don't know, man. 我们的 solo solo 路的是贝罗纳对阵的关羽。So like I was saying before, the soul is gonna carry Geb out of laning phase. So that lane, it depends on if Team Waterfall gets there. If Team Harbin gets momentum, they they can still outpush or threaten to outpush because they put you know be too strong. Looks like a big group up. They're trying to ward. Oh, the subex getting fucked up. Should we doubt Dago? It's cute that they have like two girls that can also cast. That means that not enough girls. What? Alright, what the fuck? That was obviously high risk production. Let's be real, guys. I know this balloon is doing. That's questionable. That's that's questionable as shit. I like the poke here. It's very obvious. So no one's letting each other do buffs. But what is balloon doing? Hello? They can invade. Red team can invade if they're not pussies. They gotta fight the rat. Fight this Fenrir dipped. He was like, "Good luck, Guan Yu. You're on your own." Actually, I dig the dip. The Fenrir's just gonna soak up the wave. I dig it, dude. The Guan Yu level one. He doesn't have any clear. He doesn't have his three. He only has dash. So, the dash is good though to fight because obviously has the slow. So maybe you can confirm a kill that way. Oh, that like I said, it's the aggression. He, this guy's dead as fuck, dude. First blood. Oh, great Geb shield. Great peel. Great peel from the Geb. Alright, so this lane's lost. Team Waterfall, they're just gonna have to farm it out in tower. But it's good because Sol always has like full clear, so even if they get outpushed here, like they should realistically be sitting further back. Like, just, let's just chill, baby. Geb will shield though. <laughs> That's so fucking racist. <laughs> NA peel. <laughs> dude, dude, Twitch chat's too funny. Like, my biggest thing about keeping mid, you don't have any clear. You have an explosive level 5 fight, but you have zero clear, dude. Like, it's, it's abysmal to deal with that shiz. Now that he went transcendent to keep it, if he went death to keep it, that's a man's way of building. But he went pussy transcendent, so that means he's gonna be stacking, which means he's not gonna hit any power spike until like he finishes boots. Which, depending on like how he builds, he can go Aussie first, which even delays a further power spike. So I, I just don't. It, it's just not clean, boys. Like this keeping mid is not looking clean. That what the? Did you guys see that bounce? Holy shit! Dude, this guy can predict everything. 
研究过这个弹射的轨迹的，嗯，就哪个点能弹到什么位置，站在哪块怎么弹，肯定是研究过的。对，讲道理之前，我有一次我在用这个那个后羿的时候 ，I think the power strike is strong after boots.、嗯、it depends on how many stacks you get. Like I said, keep it as a hard time clearing. <laughs> So if you're not getting many stacks, forget about it. Looks like they weren't ready to gank the Bologna. They could kill him too. Oh, rattle! Oh, the Guan's not five yet, dude. Oh, the stun. But he pulls a bit of tower. He might be able to kill him. Yes. No Bologna. Oh. Oh my! The one v one trade. One for one, except that was in blue team series because they got first blood. Damn, dude. Oh, but Silla! Oh my God, that was crazy! He just went for it. Level one root doesn't guarantee the ult. I wish it did. And this soul got shit on. I guess they flipped her. Team Red gets the red buffo. That's what I mean about rattle. It's just so potent, man. Fat attacker is just so potent. Looking at the builds, there's nothing weird really coming out of both teams. <laughs> Both teams are doing pretty standard builds. No weird actives. Nothing crazy. Uh, what's interesting, I guess, the most interesting part of like what's going on, is the Scylla mid has Tiny Trinket, which means this bitch is going into lifesteal. But other than Scylla going lifesteal, there's nothing crazy gonna going on here. I wonder what they're talking about. Because there's no way these two girls that are like all prettied up, right? There's no way that these two girls just randomly like no high level smite. There's no fucking. They have to be paid hosts, and they're probably like doing small talk, like, "Oh, is that is that Cupido?" And and the other bitch is like, "Oh, so cute, Cupido." Oh, and then the guy's like, "Well, yeah, that's Cupid, the ADC, because I'm a nerd and I obviously know what the fuck I'm talking about." This is Lana. He might die to blue stone. No. That was cute. Oh, let's get his toast, Steedo, dude. Oh my God, is that MLC chicken? There's rattle from the sky, guaranteeing another kill, but he's getting pulled in the tower. Oh my goodness, this Hu Yi on point. <laughs> 有没有有没有那种是吧？就比如说看你们看没看过这个《动物世界》啊，是吧？啊，大的这个犬科呀，或者是猫科动物都是叼叼小崽儿，就那样，叼他嘴里，<笑>有没有那种感觉？有。嗯，确实是，而且他那个皮肤也是是是那个皮肤是吧？是是是。What is nice is、uh, Cupid sustain in lane. It's actually pretty gnarly. So. 嗯，还好，所有变速是有一个保命技能。This bitch said GPN. So that means she knows gold per minute. Okay, maybe she actually knows what she's talking about. I'm not trying to be racist or sexist. I'm just being realistic. It's like there's no way that they just randomly have two hot girl hosts. They barely got high res Kelly to. To do her gig, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no fucking way they just randomly have two hot Chinese hosts. It's not possible, baby. Like, they lucked out on high res Kelly, but uh, fucking yeah, there's no way, dude. So that's why I think they're just paid hosts. Which you know they're probably briefed on like what they know about, like knowledge-wise. So 
呀、yeah. ，这把。有这标，好美。完了完了。有个位移，我拿走。哎呀，黑的，甚至够。You just got caught out pretty hard there. 对，这个松鼠要不打他，他也要被被金鸟。Yeah, we do have Taco now. Taco is actually a really good host. 然后。Hires man is cool, actually. I will say, Hires man is pretty sweet. She plays Xbox, my. I was like, dance game, you gotta go. Like, can I get a dance game in chat? Like Xbox, my. Team fight wise, okay, so blue team, team waterfall, really only the Kaj Kalajiki, whatever the fuck his name is, he he's the only one fed. Everyone else is kind of like feeding. I think realistically, if this rat can get a little bit more fed, I think team waterfall can win because their team fight is explosive. But with Guan sustain, Sobek sustain, Fenrir sustain, I don't know, dude. Harbin, they have a better sustained team fight for sure. If they have decent initiation. Depending on the, if the Fenrir goes tanky, if the Fenrir doesn't go tanky, he's gonna die every single team fight, right? But if you can get like a breastplate of valor on him and like some, you know, survivability, hell yeah, I think Team Harbin's in it to win it. Tiger, I I, I keep forgetting Tiger uh, works for Hyros. She does like part time, I think. Lol, I play Xbox. I'm just I'm just trolling Jessica. I I I mean I have one world for Xbox, but I can't really talk shit, right? I'm just a man child. Looks like a pause is coming out for Team Harbin. Aren't you the Xbox World Champion? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. F Dot has bigger tits than Taco. Make him a host. Oh my. God. Believe it or not, F Dot was a host for a while, and then they finally bumped up. They're like, you know what, F Dot? Why don't you cast for us? And F Dot's like, all right. And then he decided to talk about food products on cast, and I'm like. Okay. One second. Yeah, the chat is savage as fuck. You just chat. You guys talk shit. All the time. No, the worst is when you get the neckbeards that sit at home all day. Because <laughs> a lot of people were roasting F dot on like his hair. Because he honestly wasn't taking care of his hair. He didn't, he didn't get a fucking haircut, so he looked like a bum, right? But that, it's whatever, right? Like people be roasting F dot. It's like, but you look worse than F dot. Like you take care of yourself less than F dot, bro. Like you probably haven't showered in weeks, baby. And like you're like F dot, lol, lol. F dot, 2016. I'm like Brody. You look 10 million times worse than F dot. So what does that say to you? Like, why are you making fun of people, man? You gotta be nice. Oh my, what a team fight. Dude, they blew up that Guan Yu. I thought his hair was dope. I didn't, I didn't dig F dot's hair when he didn't cut it. I like F dot when he has a clean cut. Looks fucking very slick. I talk shit, but I love my dude F dot. That's a fellow New Yorker. I mean, I, I like to talk shit about F dot too. I think talking shit about F dot's funny. <coughs> but I hate it when people like mean it. And I'm like, dude, you got, you guys gotta chill. F dot's the homie. This chat is the embodiment of shit talk, yeah. Oh no, it's the embodiment of allies can't. God damn, dude. It's like I'm talking to my cancer. Are the voice packs in Chinese as well? Not really, Hannah. It didn't seem like it. Ally, please F dot cosplay on casting again. Oh god. Dude, F dot casting is an art. I can't I can't copy it. Oh my god, look at that look at that fat attack pose. Great gap shield. That was a great gap shield. Oh in response to his ult, I dig it, dude. This fat attack is living. That gap shield was Key. Perfect. But free gold fury looks like Cupid was not ready. They can contest. It depends who has hog. Bologna's not there. Still 
<laughs> Dude, this still is not afraid to ult. I respect that. Maybe I should do that more. Because I always save my ult for guaranteed setup. But, like, maybe I should just YOLO ult. I feel like it's just the way to go. Oh my god, the aggression. He hit the root too. You can sell the damage one off. This Scylla is so aggressive. I, I gotta take notes. This rat's actually good, low key. That's what I'm saying. This rat, his initiation's been on point. He, his presence in team fights has been. Like, like, this China team would probably beat all the challenger teams in NA. Easy. And, like, maybe the bottom four seeds. Like, they have potential of beating, in my opinion. Actually, maybe not the. Maybe, like, the bottom two of NA. I don't know. But, yeah, like, this China team's not bad at all. Like, I would definitely say they make a couple weird decisions, but besides that, nothing crazy. Like, they're not bad at all. Same thing for Team Waterfall. They're both the respectively good teams. Do I have a medical weed card? I do. If Luna suddenly came up against this start mask and scary D would just cry. You, yeah, you tell him, dude. <laughs> Mask and scary D, they cry. They shit their little panties, right? Glad you still have appetite. Have you looked into those weightlifting? I have them now, the hippie. Um, what's it called? I got some protein shakes. I got like super big calorie shakes. Like, I'm fucking ready to. Just... I'll probably have one on the boat, dude. The Astral Authority swept the Cog Prime, who have four, yes, four members going to Worlds. Nice, dude. I didn't see the team fight because the cameraman was like, let's check out Solomon. But the rat is in by himself, which they're focusing on the Cupid. The rat dove into four people, died, and now Cupid is getting soloed? Oh my god. He should have thrown out the. the the little uh, dumplings a little bit sooner. And this balloon is so far behind. Oh, great. Oh. Oh my god. And the dash? Whoa. Will she get out? Nope. Fenrir OP, obviously. Damn, that's a wipe. Team Waterfall just wiped completely. I don't know, dude. It looks like Harbin just has their number. Decision making wise, Harbin makes better team decisions. Like, what is this soul doing, dude? She's obviously not ready. And now this jungler, Juan, he's just 5-0. And, and Fed Fenrir is the most annoying thing in the world. How are you feeling in general health-wise? I'm okay. Um, pain here and there. And I hate dealing with chemo, but overall I'm okay. I like this call. They did tier 1, team wiped them, and then they blew. Team Harbin making the correct decisions. Now they're up 5k. Realistically, Harbin should be able to carry this lead and just win, but if they throw Team Waterfall, still have a chance to win. Because Team Waterfall have a lot of damage in their team composition, so. I still believe the Ratatasker could be proven useful. The Bologna could become not useless soon. It, it depends. You'll take it easy, Mario. Is SWC still thing? Yeah, I might make it. There's a good chance I'll probably make it. I'll let you guys know. I like the pressure coming out of Team Harbin right now. Great, great counter engage out of Rat. This is this is Harbin's chance to throw. This is where the throws happen right here. These tower dives. Oh my god, that ult hit. But Team Harbin, I think, yeah, they're just too strong, dude. They're too far ahead, I guess. Because that looks so good. That looks so good for Team Waterfall, but Team Harbin just had the reinforcements. Like, look at that, that, that wand healing, dude. GG.
GG Harbin up 2 0. Is there a third game? That it? Third game?